Accreditation of delegates for the rescheduled Ijo Youth Council National Elective Convention is done in batches at the Peace Park in Agoa before buses convey the delegates to the Dr. Gabriel Okara Cultural Center venue of the election. One after another, the 110 delegates from the three zones and two chapters of the Ijo Youth Council cast their ballots for persons vying for the offices of the president, deputy president, and eight others, while the position of deputy director of mobilization is declared unopposed. Sorting and counting of ballots is easy for the Electoral Committee Chairman to declare a former Central Zone Chairman of the IYC winner with 47 votes. Jonathan Logobri having scored the highest valid votes is hereby declared winner and returned and return elected as the president of the Ejoy Youth Council. To discharge my duties. The Knight Executive of the Ejoy Youth Council is immediately administered the oath of office for a three year tenure. As the veterans and founders of the struggle, we are brought on board to ensure that we sanitize the struggle again. We have come to provide leadership, and that's what we have just done by giving a credible election. And you can see the process is very transparent. You can see there is no rancor here, there is peace here. People are jubilated because the process was credible, free and fair. I think this 9 will do very well because it's where the people who have been elected are very good with great characters. So I'm expecting them to do very well. Even those who lost were proud that they lost in the manner they did because there was no room for suspicion of uh, unfair uh, conduct on the part of uh, even the... The, the, the electoral committee. Congratulations, sir. The man of the moment, Jonathan Lepobri, gives his inaugural speech. Today, the Joy Nation, who bears the greatest brunt of oil activities in our region, is the least participating group in this country. We cannot continue to lay the golden egg and have nothing to show for it. It is my honest conviction that we shall challenge the status quo to ensure that our people have a space to participate in this oil and gas business that is happening in our region. Today they are piping gas from our region to as far as Morocco and there's no German participating. If we are united, I can tell you this country will listen to us so that we can stand strong to defend our people and make sure the benefits that accrues to our oil resources in our region benefits our people. Nobody is a winner, nobody is a loser. We are all winners because the John Nation will win. Ovietime George, Arise News.